Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nazri. Hi guys, my name is Ain. And I am Shifa. Guys, do you still remember what we have learned in acids and bases? Yeah, when acid reacts with base, then the product will be salt and water. So, what is actually salt? Salt is a compound formed from the replacement of hydrogen ions in an acid by a metal ion or ammonium ion. In salt, we have soluble and insoluble salt. So, to differentiate this salt, we are going to use the beaker formula. Those inside the beaker are all soluble salt, while those outside the beaker are insoluble salt. So, here we can see all nitrate salts are soluble, while for sulfate salt, all soluble except Pb, Ba, and Ca. For chloride salts, all soluble except Pb, Ag, and Hg. And for carbonate salts, the only soluble are garam ana, or we call it as sodium, potassium, and ammonium. So, what's next? Ah, preparation of soluble potassium and sodium salts. Now, simple. Soluble potassium and sodium salts can be prepared by the neutralization reaction between an acid and an alkali solution using the titration method. Here, a tips for you, the SPM candidate. We need to really understand that the preparation of soluble salts forms salt solution, water, or gas. Now, I'll share with you steps with a simple formula in preparing this kind of salt. So first, HIPPO. Heat the mixture until saturated. Second, CAN. Cool the mixture until the salt crystals form. Third, FLY. Filter to collect salt crystals. Fourth, really? Rinse with a little distilled water. And lastly, dangerous. Dry with the filter paper. Now we are done. Hippo can fly really dangerous. So now I'm going to tell you how insoluble salts are prepared. Insoluble salts are prepared by the double decomposition reaction. A double decomposition reaction is a reaction involving ion exchange to produce insoluble salts, which is called precipitate. The reaction involves a mixture of two soluble salt solutions to produce an insoluble salt. So guys, have a look on the example shown. So this is the preparation of insoluble salt of barium sulfate. So, for cation, we choose barium from an echo solution of a soluble salt such as barium nitrate or barium chloride. So, for the anion, we choose sulfate ion from an aqueous solution of a soluble salt such as sodium sulfate, potassium sulfate, and sulfuric acid. Next, let's proceed to physical characteristics of crystals. All salt crystals have the following common physical characteristics. Have geometric shapes, having a flat, sharp corners and straight sides. The geometry shape of crystals of a substance is the same although the size of the crystals may be different. Has a fixed angle between two adjacent surfaces.